Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here with 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team, number 17. All card ship, no twins though, no twins hits, and all uh, all twins cards, even if they're numbered cards, will be, uh, will be donated somewhere. All right. There's the case right there. A very big thank you to all of these wonderful people right here. Now, if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won those teams in that uh, filler blaster box we did um, just a few moments ago if you're watching live. So thanks for hanging with me on a Thursday. Appreciate everybody getting into the action. I'll tell you what, if there's a... If there's a train whistle hit for the uh, for the twins, then I'll I'll randomize it to someone in the group. If we get an out of five like twins base card, we won't donate that. We'll donate to someone in the break. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Two autographs per mini box. So the Four, four, 32 autographs in this break. So a lot of hit opportunities. The checklist is small, smaller compared to a lot of Chrome breaks. So I think there's a tendency to see a lot of uh, repeats, I think. So don't stress too much about that. Just the nature of the Bowman's best beast. I kind of like the smaller checklist though, because there's less variance. If you're chasing a particular player, you can be like, oh, I'll just buy this team X times in a row and eventually, uh, knock on wood, but eventually you, you would hope that you would be able to get that get that player. Maybe stumble into a nice uh, low numbered card too, some color. Baseball is in the air, folks. I, I can start to feel it. It was a kind of a warm day, warm afternoon in uh, in Southern California, near Hermosa Beach. So, I kind of started to feel like a little spring, a little summer. And that got me thinking baseball. We had a lot of sapphire breaks we did today. We're gonna do more of those too. Got me thinking baseball. Hopefully we'll have a nice full season with few issues. There's our first autograph, rookie auto Trent Grisham. That'll be for Dean and the Padres. We've got Rocket Spurs on in the background too. Got Blake Snell, the 250 for the Rays. We got a Joe Adele die cut. And a Spencer Torkelson. Nice. Tigers, that's going to be for Derek. And Carlos with the Rays gets the uh, Rays edition of Blake Snell. Another autograph, Nico Horner. Rookie autograph for the Cubs. Patrick Colon with that one. Cubs starting their rebuild. Nico Horner, probably going to be a big part of that. Emerson Hancock, Seattle. Mark Bissett with the M's. Ramon Laureano die cut for the A's. There's a rookie Louis Strong. It's just an insert, though. And there it is. Whoa, nice. Josh Filo with the Washington Nationals gets the Power Producers Juan Soto autograph. Nice. He's pretty good. I've heard of him. A 
different container for this. Hang on a second. Next box. So good start. So far, so good. Now, TJ is saying in the first 16 cases that you were watching, we're on break 17 here. He's saying he only saw one plate. Was it autoed? He's like, we need to see another one. Yeah, I'd like to see a plate or a one of one, some kind of one of one. Oh, so that's a nice plate. A one of one trout, says Jack. You know, Sean pulled for him. Magenta printing plate with an autograph. Wow. Well, gotta be more plates in here somewhere. All right, and after this, we still have a little ways to go in this break, but after this, we're gonna go through, looks like it's gonna be 50 plus orders, and we'll keep adding to the schedule. There is a late night tonight, so, so keep filling up the breaks, because we'll eventually do all of them. There's Robert Hassel for the Padres, Dean. And his teammate, or maybe future teammate, Fernando Tatis Jr. right here to 150. Padres doing a lot of work in the offseason. There's Nico Horner, franchise favorites autograph, 35 out of 50. Another one for Patrick. There you go, Pat. Cubs rebuilding. There's J.J. Blade. And there's Nico Horner again. I like that design there. And there's a Brendan McKay, rookie auto for the Rays. Carlos with the Rays. We should see him in action more often this year, I think. I think he's ready to be a regular contributor. There's Max Meyer for Miami. Max Meyer for the Miami Marlins. Great alliteration there. David Chan. Wait, did I slide by a Luis Robert Atomic back here somewhere? Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's pre that one's pretty good. Alex with the White Sox. There's Jorge Alfaro to 250. Die cut Luis Robert. And Patrick Bailey. Was there a Heston Kirkstad in there somewhere? And we got a Heston Kirkstad in there as well. For the Orioles, Frank with that one. 
Jorge Alfaro goes to Miami. David with that one. Nick York. And the rest. Patrick Bailey goes to the Giants. That'll be for Mark Nation. All right, next box. Good luck, another four autographs. Uh, basketball fans, Keldon Johnson, 25 points. Dust off your Keldon Johnson rookies. Next group right here, there's Bobby Bradley to 50. That is for Cleveland, Carlos. Got another Luis Robert on top for Alex. Just a regular base rookie. There's Cade Cavalli for Josh and the Nationals. There's a Jared Schuster for the Braves, Mark Nation, who won that team. Got a nice Atomic Trout, franchise favorites insert. Got Nick Gonzalez. Spencer Torkelson, looks like that's a silver Torkelson, by the way, refractor. You can tell the difference right there. That's just the base one. And a Luis Robert autograph. 108 out of 150. Rookie auto for Alex and the Chicago White Sox. Nice. Got that atomic parallel back there too. A couple rookie cards. Not too shabby. Tigers, Derek Riley. We'll get both the all the Torkelsons. There's Nick Gonzalez to 250. Pirates, that's gonna be for Henry. There's a Luis Robert Power Producers to 50. Two out of 50. And Robert Hassel autograph for Dean and the Friars. Oh, nice box. All right, box four of eight here in Pick Your Team 17. Probably have another 20 or so minutes left in this break. I'll do a recap at the end too, but another 20 minutes or so in this break and then we'll go through, uh, we'll go through a bunch of orders and see. I know there's stuff sold out and we'll add to the schedule and see when your break is gonna happen. Stay, stay tuned for that.
Axeman out for the night. Right, and yeah, nice Robert break so far. Right? All right, next box. We got a Tyler Soderstrom. For the A's, that'll be for Joshua B. There's a Zach Gallen. Looks like a negative refractor there. Logan Webb. Giants, Mark Nation. Spencer Torkelson, Bryce Harper, and a Zach Veen. He's pretty good too. Uh, Rocky. That's gonna be oh, that's gonna be for TJ. There you go, Tej. Maybe we'll find some ink for him later. Another Torkelson there for the Tigers, Derek Riley. We got Jordan Yamamoto, rookie autograph for Miami, David. There's another Luis Robert, this time to 99. It's another one for Alex V and the Chicago White Sox. And a Brendan McKay autograph on that USA flag. That's pretty cool. Carlos with Tampa Bay. 79 out of 99 on that one. It's pretty cool. Next box. Halfway through the break, ladies and gents. Have there been any other big baseball moves? I feel like the hot stove is, is percolating a little bit. So obviously the big news was recently was Francisco Lindor getting traded to the Mets. Mets are crafting a pretty good team. Looks like the Giants signed, uh, signed Alex Wood to a one-year deal. All right, I think uh, Farhan Zaidi is up there. He's had some familiarity with Alex Wood. Phillies to sign Archie Bradley. MLB names Theo Epstein a consultant to the commissioner's office. Is that the job Theo's hunting for next? Commissioner? Astro signed Pedro Baez. It's interesting. I think they're working on an extension with Tatis Jr. But no offer made yet, says the Padres GM. White Sox to sign Liam Hendricks. National signed Kyle Schorber. Oh, I think I heard that. Oh, and there's a Keston, Heston Kirkstad. Not Keston here, but Heston Kirkstad. 52 out of 99. Nice on-card auto for Frank and the Orioles. He won the Orioles in that team random. 
in that filler break and gets rewarded with the Kirkstead. Nice. I think that National Schwarber news happened a little while ago. Rockies' Michael Givens avoids arbitration. Phillies interested in uh, Archie Bre or uh, Freddie Galvis, that is. Mets sign Jose Martinez. Dodgers and Corey Knebel avoid arbitration. Pirates trade Nick Turley to the A's for what that's worth. I guess that's about it for now. And there's Nick York for Boston. That goes to Jeremy Harder. Yeah, Frank's happy about that, Kirk Stud. Juan Soto to 150. There's Tatis, speaking of Tatis Jr. Juan Soto for Josh. And there's Andres Munoz, 26 out of 50 for the Friars. That goes to Dean. Yeah, well... Pedro Baez was pretty. Was a, it's a little frustrating sometimes. He works pretty slow. When he's in. When he's just uh, you know has a has a bit of a lead and is just kind of working comfortably, he seems to be unstoppable at times. But in higher leverage situations, I feel like. I feel like he. You know he doesn't really do well in those situations. There's Garrett Mitchell for the Brew Crew for Patrick. I feel like the numbers always look good. At the end of the season, you're like, oh, those are some pretty good numbers, but there'll be just some some really frustrating moments where you're like, why, why, is, why is that guy out there? Especially in the playoffs. I think, I think this year... They just didn't really use him a lot in high leverage playoff situations because of his propensity to maybe blow up, give up a lot of runs all at once, untimely hits. But as far as the regular season goes, solid solid arm out of the, out of the bullpen. I, I can't imagine that he got paid very very much. Yeah, it's a short deal, right? Yeah, two years. Option for a third. Escalators, a buyout, blah, 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 blah. Maybe around... Oh, Baez has promised a total of $12.5 million over the course of the deal. That's not bad at all. I mean, for a solid re relief pitcher who's been around for a while, that's about what it'll cost. What did the Nationals pay Kyle Schwarber? Schwarber got... One year deal with a mutual option. Oh, maybe about ten, ten, ten million? Oh, mute, there's a mutual buy. Oh, that's not bad. Seven to ten million. All right, next box. Nice Asa Lacey. He's supposed to be a big, big name for the Royals. That's for Jeffrey. An all card ship, of course. So you're gonna, you're gonna get everything, ladies and gents. There's Nico Horner again. 004 out of 150. Cubs hat. I guess no, no, no other big, big baseball news after those big Lindor deals. There's Justin Lang for the Padres, Dean. I 
I guess no word on where Trevor Bauer's going, right? We, we got a, what, about three, three, four weeks until pitchers, catchers report? Nice Spencer Torkelson, purple to 250. Tigers, Derek. What, any, anyone know the latest, uh, what, what, are, what are the latest Trevor Bauer rumors? Chris Bryan going to get traded? If I mean, if they're if they're break deconstructing the entire Cubs team. There's Pete Crow Armstrong. Nice. Who has the Mets? Richard with the Metropolitans. People, people in New York seem to really like this kid. Mets fans. Mets fans. New ownership. I think that's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge turning point. People might look at this season. As the season that thing where, where things turned it turned around for the Mets. And there's Max Muncie. There you go, Richard, just what he was looking for. Pick your team seventeen has delivered. Scott Blackwell with Max Muncie, world champion, Dodgers. All right, two boxes to go, almost there. Almost there. Angels could use a Trevor Bauer. I get any any team could use a Trevor Bauer, really. I'm trying to think of like teams with with good offenses that that could really. Twins could the Twins use a Trevor Bauer? Oh, the Twins have a. No, they could use a Trevor Bauer. Definitely use a Trevor Bauer. Chris Bryant on the Phillies, maybe Jack's thinking. Yeah, I can't imagine. I think Chris Bryant's on an expiring deal on a, on the last year of his contract this year. I can't imagine. I can't imagine that uh, they'd want to keep and they just want to try to trade him. Maybe in maybe mid season. Trevor Bauer on the Astros. That'd be huge. Verlander's not getting any younger. There's Zach Veen, franchise favorites. Where's George Springer going to sign? Everyone seems to seems to point to uh, the Mets actually landing George Springer. What if the Mets got Springer and Bauer? <laughs> they they just said they just said F it. There's uh, Rangers. That's going to go to Patrick Davis. Imagine if they had uh, if they put Springer in the outfield. They've got Degrom. They've got uh, Degrom, Syndergaard, I guess Bauer, Carlos Carrasco. Then it wouldn't matter who the fifth pitcher would be. That would be wild. And there's Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. That's going to be for uh, Henry, Henry Benson. Right. Oh, they got Stroman too, right? Marcus Stroman. Yeah, it would. I mean, new ownership, you never know. I feel like new ownership wants to make a big splash. You know, maybe the fir first few years, you just kind of have to kind of have to say uh, F finances, you know. There's Nick York. 89 out of 150 Red Sox. That'll be for Jeremy, Jeremy Harder.
Nice Cobrian Hayes. And we got a Maurizio Dubon. Mark Nation and the Giants. Pat thinks Toronto or Mets for George Springer. Yeah, Blue Jays want to spend all this money. Looks on seemingly, seemingly one of the few teams that want to spend money during the pandemic. You know, they're going to want to land somebody. Wait, is are the Blue Jays even going to play in... Uh, Are the Blue Jays even going to play in Toronto this year? Yeah, Spiro is pointing out, listen, Steve Cohen made more last year than it cost to buy the Mets. So, yeah, he, he thinks he's willing to spend. Throw money at George Springer and Trevor Bauer. Richard said he read something where if he spent six billion on payroll, he would still have six billion more than any other team. <laughs> I think Mets fans are happy that they got to be happy that they've got some new ownership out there. All right, last box, final four autographs. We got Adbert Alzole. Here's another franchise favorite, Zach Veen. Adbert Alzole autograph. Pat with another Cub. Right, and he's an actual Mets fan too, right? I think he was like a, he had a big Mets memorabilia collection is what I heard. There's Garrett Crochet to 150. There's Cool Whit Merrifield, Jeff with the Royals. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good for for uh, for long suffering Mets fans under that ownership. Now I wonder if people in New York are also thinking, man, if only if only the Knicks ownership would sell. <laughs> it's Joey Votto to ten, four out of ten. That's for David and the Red Legs. Nice. Maybe a couple more, a couple more to go. We got Casey Schmidt for the Giants, Mark Nation. Another Luis Robert, that's a refractor. And what else do we have? Justin Dunn, Jared Kalanick. Oh, maybe I found all the autos already. Oh, no, there's the last auto. Jaron Duran Duran for Jeremy Harder and the Boston Red Sox. There you go, Jeremy. I know Jeremy's been waiting a while for this break to happen. Not too bad of a break, I think. Got a few, a couple autos, a few autos maybe. All right. And there you go, boys and girls. That was 8-Box Pick Your Team 17 of 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball Thanks, everyone, for getting in on the action. We got that purple Torkelson non-auto, some nice autographs, some Brendan McKay's. A nice Luis Robert. We had an Atomic Robert in there. We got a Silver, a Refractor, Heston Kirkstad. So a lot of nice stuff. The Nico Horner franchise favorites auto. Juan Soto at the be early on, so a lot of fun stuff and a lot of uh, numbered cards 
and other things that are going to be top loaded as well. Thank you. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.